protest today at Pensacola City Hall. Those protesting are residents concerned about a recent hike in their power bills. As WKRG News 5's Daniel Smithson reports, electric bills in some cases have doubled or tripled, and Florida Power and Light customers are demanding to know why. What do we want? Lower rates. When do we want it now? A group of Florida Power and Light customers coming together Monday morning in the cold and rain to protest a spike in utility bills. Citizens of Northwest Florida can no longer afford their light bill. They're having to choose between medicine and food for their homes. And enough is enough. We need someone to step up and change this for us. A merger between Florida Power and Light and Gulf Power came with higher rates, approved by the Florida Public Service Commission. Higher rates and fuel costs driving up bills. Florida Power and Light has said the bills will go down eventually, and they're working with customers during this time. We know how challenging it can be to get a bill that's higher than you expected, and we, we understand that some of our customers are, are challenged with that. Those protesting here at City Hall on Monday say they want more to be done to lower bills now. We were under the impression that our bill would increase $15 for the average customer, and now that bills are rolling in, it's two and three hundred dollars more. I know that there's rate increases and we understand that, but I think there's something very fudged about everything going on right now. There has been talk about the city of Pensacola creating its own utility, but some officials are skeptical about that idea. Do you think FPNL is charging a lot for power? City of Pensacola can probably charge you more. We'll find a way we can do that. I don't think that would be productive for any of our citizens. For now, Northwest Florida residents are finding ways to cut power and their bills. There are so many people across Northwest Florida right now having to unplug items and turn off breakers. And we never had to do that with Gulf Power. We shouldn't have to do that with Florida Power and Light. In Pensacola, Daniel Smithson, WKRG News 5.